Hey guys, this is Kilo from Task Force Weasel with my Naval Special Warfare Gunner Kit. So I'm starting off with my gun. I have a uh, NK Mark 46 with a box mag. Uh, and then I have a replica EOTech on the on the uh, rail. And then on the right side of the gun, I have my uh, my Battle Axe PEC 15 with a red laser. Uh, on the bottom, I have a cat grip and the whole gun is held on to me by my tactical tailor padded swing. Alright guys, next is my helmet. I have a uh, Dragon Red premium fast ballistic helmet with uh, an IR flag, uh, my LG205 FMA mount and arm, uh, my custom task force weasel uh, call sign patch, KW6, Kilo Weasel 6, I'm the sixth man on the roster. Uh, on the back, I have my uh, my blue V light, and on the top, I have a green uh, Emerson Manta strobe. All right, guys. Next is my uh, my plate carrier setup. On the front, I have a uh, a trifold zip cuffs, uh, a tactical tailor multi-purpose pouch with just some tools and like a knife. I put BBs in here and whatnot. Uh, up top, I have three IR chems. And uh, that's about it for my front, as far as I can see. All right, on my left side, I have my uh, my cat tourniquet and my med shears. And then moving back, I have my uh, my Pantac AOR one canteen pouch, which I usually have my canteen, or I'll keep like BBs or some other stuff in here. And then back even farther, I have my Gerber uh, rescue hook. I can't really pull it out <laughs> uh, in uh, tan. And then I have my carabiner for my gloves and like my helmet after games, I'm just leave it on there. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, on my back, I have my, uh, my Mars Tactical Eye Pack with my call sign and uh, my blood type. And then I just have another AOR1 utility pouch where I keep just a bunch of random stuff like a Shemog and spare parts and more BBs and whatnot. And then I have a, uh, a ASP trifold uh, zip cuffs on that. Then above my AOR1 pouch, I have a replica smoke grenade. Alright guys, on my right side, I just have a gigantic utility pouch for more BBs. And a dead rag, stuff to fix my gun, extra batteries, all that good stuff. And then in my cummerbund, I have my ICOM. It's not programmed, but we're working on that. And uh, that's about it for my, my plate carrier setup. All right, guys. Next up, I'm wearing my uh, my Nike sports glasses, just my sunglasses, everyday use. Uh, on my hands, I have my Outdoor Research Overlord gloves with the uh, the tactile palms, kind of sticky. So when you're grabbing mags and stuff, it's really easy to get out. Uh, on my left shoulder, I just have an American uh, IR flag patch, and on my right shoulder, I would have my Task Force Weasel patch, but I don't have one with me right now. Uh, the clothes I'm wearing, my BDUs, I'm wearing a Cry Field Top and AOR1, and Cry Field Pants and AOR1. Uh, and then on my, I guess my belt is an LBT Riggers belt in OD that I'm getting swapped out for, uh, I don't really know at this point actually, just some other Riggers belt. And then I'm wearing my Nike SFB boots on my feet, uh, and in my pocket I just have a, like a beanie, and that's... Uh, pretty much it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my, uh, my kid video. That's pretty much it for all my stuff. Uh, we have some new stuff coming for the channel. We have a, uh, a kit review from Vegas and Panther got a new US Tactical Sewing uh, custom plate carrier that he'll be reviewing for you guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, comment, subscribe, like it, and check us out on Facebook at Task Force Weasel.